When we make our solutions, we use this new piece of equipment called a volumetric flask. A volumetric flask has only one purpose, and that's making solutions, and they only do one volume. So you have to have a whole bunch of different ones depending on what volume you might need to make. The first thing you do when you're making a solution is you measure out how much solute you're going to need. Then you have a choice. You can either take that solute and add it directly to the volumetric flask, but sometimes that's difficult to get a powder into that tiny opening. So the other option is you can put it in a beaker and then you can dissolve it in a little bit of your solvent, not all of it, but a little bit, so that you can transfer it to the volumetric flask a little easier. So I purposely did this in a small beaker so I wouldn't, I would make sure I would never go over the volume. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you don't just have to watch me stir. So I stirred for a really long time and I could see that there was still a lot of salt at the bottom and I still had room to add more solvent. So I'm going to add a little bit more, help it dissolve a little bit faster, and speed up the stirring. Once it's all clear and there aren't any more pieces of salt at the bottom, now I'm ready to transfer it to the volumetric flask. So I'm going to pour it down the stirring rod. That makes sure it doesn't splash very much. But then to make sure I don't lose any solute in the drips left behind, I'm going to rinse out the beaker a couple of times with my solvent and pour that rinse into the volumetric flask. And usually you're supposed to do this about two or three times and I've sped it up because it's not very exciting to watch. And then you also rinse off the stir rod. Once you've rinsed everything off, as long as you're down in the like circular part, you can kind of pour the solvent in a little faster, but once it gets up into that narrow neck, the volume rises really, really fast. So at that point, you switch to putting it in like drop by drop, basically. So I put the little lid back on and now I'm just going to put it in drop by drop and there's only one line on a volumetric flask and you split, you have to get it like right on the line to make sure you have the correct volume. Once it's at that line, then you cap it and you invert it about 10 to 20 times just to really make sure that you've really, really mixed it thoroughly. So if I had gone over this total volume line right here, I would have had to pour it out and start all over because I would have added too much solvent. Think about that. Would that make the molarity higher or lower than what I needed? Circle which one of these you think would be. So what that would do to your molarity, it, it would make it lower than what you needed. So now think about the words dilute and concentrated. If we had gone over the total volume line, would that solution be more dilute or more concentrated than what you wanted? Circle the one you think. Okay, so if the molarity is lower than what you wanted, it would be more dilute than what you wanted.